Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this Friday, September 27th, 2024. We have a great set of guests for us to wrap up the week. Have your host, James J. Mailoff, here. At 4.30 today, we're going to be joined by uh, Superintendent of the Wisconsin Rapids Public Schools, Ronald A. Rasmussen. He'll be bringing in Tina, principal of Grove Elementary, with him. Right now, we have in studio our good friend, Bettina Renard, Elder Benefit Specialist with the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Central Wisconsin. Bettina, good to have you with us. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, I, it, we we're just talking in our pregame it's been about a year uh, since you've been with us and everything so if you don't mind Bettina before we get into uh, Medicare open enrollment and some of those things would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself uh, it feels like we haven't caught up in a while so if you can tell us a little bit about who you are yeah absolutely so we've had a busy year um, I actually moved from the Wasa office to the Marshfield office full-time we bought a house Wow! Um, yeah we've wow. had all Congratulations. kinds of fun changes yeah. yeah yeah that's 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 wonderful and uh, your your role over there at the ADRC yeah so I'm an elder benefit specialist so I get to work on uh, public benefits um, for people over 60 um, so Anybody under 60 then sees a disability benefit specialist. But yeah, we kind of split the difference. But we all do public benefits, um, things like Medicare, retirement, Social Security issues, things like that, and kind of help people navigate those and cut that red tape. And uh, it, it tells you, I think, a lot, uh, especially those of us that haven't gotten to that age yet, of how much um, how much there is to learn every year. They, these things can change and, and advance or, or adapt. And you need two different people to be able to kind of cover these things as far as that, uh, as far as before turn, hitting retirement or hitting certain ages and after. Um, it really speaks to that and gives us a little bit more uh, ability to really do really hands on good hands on work and ask a lot of those answer a lot of those questions, I imagine, that come up in different ages and different for different reasons uh now let's talk about who uh you who we you are the adrc that is uh the AD, aging disability resource center of central wisconsin yeah absolutely the adrc of central wisconsin works to provide peace of mind and quality of life to individuals and families through information and access to resources so we offer services to seniors and adults with disabilities in lincoln langlade marathon and wood county so we're a four county agency um, our services include navigating community resources, exploring available benefits, offering support for caregivers, providing meals for seniors, holding healthy living classes, and presenting volunteer opportunities. You know, Bettina, we've uh, for years talked to the ADRC, and we I think a lot of our, our audience, especially our core members out there, have heard many conversations and um, understand how important the ADRC is to our communities and all these in communities you just uh, mentioned there. Um, but a, a practice that I like to do from time to time, especially when it comes to our nonprofits, is you know what the ADRC does. Now imagine if they weren't there. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and to think of that is, is a scary thought. It, it, the idea that we would not have something like that. So I, I say this, for one, to give some appreciation for what we have with the ADRC, but also to remind our audience to reach out to the ADRC and make use of the, that we have this resource in our communities. We're very fortunate to have an organization and a group of people that their their sole job is to make our lives better. <laughs> you know, we, we don't have a lot of that in society, but that's really the mission. That's really a big part of what the ADRC is, is to be able to answer those questions when you have a concern to be able to kind of give you, um, kind of clear up some of the gray areas sometimes in life and some of these big things that we hit when we hit certain ages. There isn't necessarily a playbook for retirement. There isn't necessarily a playbook for getting older. The ADRC is a big, big help when it comes to that for a lot of us that maybe don't have a lot of like, what do I do when I hit 60? What do I do when I, I got to think about Medicare? I didn't, I've never even thought about that. Like so many of these questions that we, as we get closer to those ages, all of a sudden dawn on us, oh, wow, I haven't thought much about this. So it's so impactful to have an ADRC in our communities. Yeah, absolutely. You also run into, you know, not expecting to have to help like family members or your parents navigate. And the ADRC is a nonprofit, so we don't have a huge advertising budget, right? So to be able to do this, to get our name out there, to even if it's just people then know where to send somebody if they're having a conversation mm -hmm. over coffee, like, hey, I know who can help you with that. 
There's been off the top of my head three to four different things in the conversations I've had with ADRC members that uh, I'm talking to them and I'm interviewing them and I prep for these questions and thinking about the ways they can help community members. And as we're talking, realizing, oh, wow, they're talking about me. Uh, they, they, yeah. This affects me, too. Uh, uh, it's It's been so helpful, not just for me and my family, but I know t- listening to so many listeners out there that they do some great work for so much of our community and not just ours here in Rapids, but as you mentioned, uh, the surrounding communities as well that you are uh, have offices in and are able to make an impact in. And that's important to the ADRC when it comes to the mission of the ADRC. If you don't mind, I, I want to touch on that before we get into Medicare open enrollment. Uh, and thank you again, Bettina, for doing this with us. Yeah, absolutely. So the mission of the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Central Wisconsin promotes choice and independence through personalized education, advocacy, and access to services that prevent, delay, and lessen the impacts of aging and disabilities in the lives of adults. So this is really important because um, a lot of people don't think about, you know, living on a fixed income or struggling in that way or as, you know, prices go up on everything. There are programs available to help um, if you need help in some of those areas with food and insurance and things like that. So those things are important. You know, um, uh, I, I think that as, as my generation uh, gets older and gets closer to this, uh, we, we, you know, you have some appreciation of, of the generations before. You, you get a little more understanding of those things, and you start to realize that you are closer to these things and farther from them. And, and you, you start to try to learn more about them and everything in ways that um, they, they impact your life and the ones you love and care for. And if you're fortunate, um, I think, uh, you have a chance to help your parents and, and, and help them, guide them through this situation my mom and dad I, I i've talked to them about this so they don't mind me talking about them and using them as an example because they feel like they're i feel like they're a really good one my mom and dad never thought about retirement that much mm-hmm. they didn't think they'd be able to they didn't uh, and and to be quite blunt with the audience my father did not believe that he would even live to this age um with the way he was living his life that changed the last 20 years but in that 20 years he he was like scrambling to, to try to find out some of this information and try to plan some of these things um the ADRC was vital in helping him be able to uh, bridge that gap into retirement and what it's like for a workaholic to have to do that and so many of those things. Um, and, and and there is uh, the, the information, I think, is such a key part of our conversation and what the ADRC does. But just as important to that and piggybacking from that is the support. And just knowing that you have that support in your community. We have a, a, a lot of our, our senior population that that um, is doing a lot of this alone. And, and on their own. And for them especially to know that they have an ADRC in their community, that they have one in, near, in their neck of the woods, I can't imagine the comfort that must bring. Absolutely. I mean, that is one of the best parts of what I get to do every day is just being able to be there for people, to listen, to help them navigate these systems and also connect them to the other resources, even within our own agency, because we have these different teams and people are multifaceted. Right. And we never know what we're going to face. We don't know what's out there until we start having those conversations. Um, my, my father uh, is, is really, uh, really is a smart guy and I've seen him explain like hockey, like even the, like not just the basics, but everything to like a 10 year old before I, I, I've seen him be able to explain geometry, uh, to, to me or my brother at a young age and these things, when it comes to the Medicare open enrollment period, my dad gets quite confused and he was not sure about this. He's got it down a lot better now, but when he was first getting old enough to be able to, you know, understand these things, it was way over his head and he was. Uh, so thankful to be able to talk to people that really understood this stuff. And it's important. This is another key part of what the ADRC can do and in getting into this and talking about uh, what is Medicare open enrollment and what is that this period that exists with that, uh, Bettina? Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So there is almost information overload when it comes to Medicare yeah. open enrollment, yeah. right? Which is yeah. why it's really easy to be a super intelligent person that's still completely lost in the woods. It's just a lot. That's why we're here to help navigate through that. So um, the Medicare open enrollment period is the annual enrollment period for both Part C, which is your Advantage plans, and Part D, which is your Medicare drug coverage. Um, So you have usually have one or the other. Um, And it runs from October 15th to December 7th each year. And during that period, you can join, switch, or drop a plan. Your coverage then begins on January 
first based on the change that you make as long as you make that request before December 7th. And those requests uh, or, or the idea of changing a plan, I, I, I think, again, for some of us out there that haven't been in this, um, that, that's, well, why would you change it or why would you need to change it? But those are things that, um, that that's, those are good questions. And those are questions that you guys can help people guide them through. Yeah, absolutely. I see a lot of people that will get into a plan and they'll just keep it because they don't realize that they can change it or don't know that they should review it. Um, and so sometimes they're paying way more in premium or it's not covering their stuff like it should mm -hmm. because they're just maintaining, you know, they're not um, yeah. actively exploring, hey, is there something better for me? We, we so often do that where we just kind of accept things as the status quo or this is just the way it is and everything. Um, I would say, and, and, and please uh, correct me on this, Bettina, but even if you have questions or if you are curious that there might be a better plan or a better, uh, a better version of this for you, reach out. It doesn't mean that you have to change anything. You can ask questions without necessarily going through the whole uh, changing of a a plan or anything yeah absolutely and that's one of the beauty of beauties of working with us is we um, don't sell anything right mm -hmm. we're not agents so we literally just provide unbiased information we just take a look at everything that's out there and then the decision is completely yours some people come in they keep what they have some people come in and go oh that's actually would be better for me and they make the change so we are happy to help navigate all of that information maybe one of the tougher questions i ask you and i don't mean to put you on the spot but um I'm curious is there a, a is there particular questions in, that stand out more than others or you get asked consistently about this topic we get a lot of yeah. questions because it's really confusing so people uh, try to differentiate between original Medicare mm -hmm. and then Medicare Advantage, which is the part C, mm -hmm. like which one's better for me, which mm -hmm. way do I go? So questions like that. Um, also people get notices like the annual notice of change, right? But they don't necessarily read it or understand what that's about. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's to really look at what are the changes in my plan? What does that mean? Also for 2025, there's a lot of changes within Part D itself. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be an interesting year to kind of navigate those. There was some legislation that came through and this we're in stage three, so it's gonna cap like drug costs at $2,000. There's a special way to set up a payment plan for that. So there's a lot to navigate this year. And and really important stuff yes. that, that uh, can really impact your lives and make your lives a lot better. Uh, just seeing some of just what you touched on right there alone is no reason enough to reach out to the ADRC or find out more about this um, and, and see if you can't uh, you know change your plan and have even a more comfortable, better life. That's what you deserve. That's yeah. what this is about. One of the things that makes me sad is I talk to people and they will be not taking their medications as prescribed or, you know, refusing prescriptions because they're worried about the cost of it. And that shouldn't be like mm -hmm. there, you know, is definitely opportunity to take a look at your coverage and make sure it is covering what you need. Yeah, well said. What can uh, our, our, our listeners do about this? Uh, what, what can be done? So we recommend that you review your current coverage and any plan changes that are going to take place for the following year. Um, those changes are listed on that annual notice of change. Your plan is required to send that to you by law by September 30th. Um, after you review those potential changes, you can compare your current coverage to other plans. And then you can choose to either keep your coverage or make a change for 2025. And um, when it comes to that, that's something that uh, is there a required time to get that done by or anything? Yeah, so you get that notice by the end of September, and oh, okay. then you have between October 15th and December 7th to actually make that change. And some people are more comfortable doing that early. Some people wait till mm -hmm. the last minute, but whatever you have in place by December 7th. So even if you do nothing, um, that plan is going to follow you into the following year. And, uh, and then you can choose the, the current coverage or make a change for 2025, as you were touching on there. And there's a number of different things that you can do when it comes to that. So uh, yeah. that, that's certainly noteworthy as well. Right. Yeah, there are a lot of things that you can do um, within the open enrollment period. So you can go from original Medicare, where you have just regular Medicare and a Part D insurance, into one of those Part C Advantage plans. Or you can go back from the Part C to original Medicare 
Um, and a lot of this is, might sound like Greek because it's a lot of different <laughs> things, um, but that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. You can change from one Medicare Advantage plan to a different Medicare Advantage plan. Um, you can change from a Medicare Advantage plan that didn't have drug coverage. So some mm -hmm. people use like senior care as a placeholder, but mm -hmm. then they get some, they maybe change br income brackets and need better coverage so they could pick up an Advantage plan with drug coverage. Um, you can switch from an Advantage plan that has drug coverage back mm -hmm. the other way to one that doesn't and then pick mm -hmm. up a senior care. And um, you can also join a Medicare drug plan or switch from one drug plan to the other or drop your Medicare drug coverage completely, which I do not recommend, not, great, not a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are so many different options and there's so many layers to this because there are so many different individuals going through different things. Yeah. Uh, there, there is no such thing as a one size fits all when it comes to this. Um, so while it, I, I imagine that it can be confusing for some out there and everything, that's again why we have an ADRC and why you can reach out and there is no, there are no silly questions. None. No silly questions, especially when it comes to this topic. I don't care if we're just calling them to figure out how to spell Medicare. Uh, there's not a silly question. Uh, I encourage you to reach out. And uh, be sure to reach out, too, uh, next month because, it, it, again, October 15th through December 7th, you, ha you can make these changes. Yeah, absolutely. Our appointment slots are open. Um, so all of our calendars are open. So if you want, if you're in Lincoln, Langley, Marathon, or Wood Counties and you need an appointment with us, you can absolutely call for one of those. Um, and then, yeah, there aren't any silly questions. And we have so much information that comes at people at this time of year in the mail, on TV, the phone calls, things like that. My recommendation is really to work with somebody face-to-face mm -hmm. -face that you can trust that's local, whether it's your insurance agent, whether it's one of us at the AG, Aging and Disability Resource Center that can help you sort through all of that. We're speaking with Bettina Renard, Elder Benefit Specialist with the ADRC of Central Wisconsin. And when it comes to what we're talking about here with questions and, and all of this stuff that we have talked about in the last 20 minutes, if, if people need help, if they want to find out the best plan, um, I, I think you gave us some great references there. I will highly recommend you and all your staff at the ADRC, mainly because of something you touched on earlier, and that the ADRC is not in anybody's pocket. They, they are not in any, they have no incentive one way or the other. Nobody has a uh, stock in Acme Medicare, uh, you know, it, it, they're just looking at what's best for you and what can help you. And as I said before, everybody's different and everybody might have a different plan. So all the more reason to ask those questions and one and, and for let the audience know, Bettina, who is uh, who do we contact if we have follow up questions with some of these things? Yeah, absolutely. So the ADRC of Central Wisconsin is a great place to start um, when you're trying to figure out what is the best coverage option for you. So our team of benefit specialists can help compare those plans without bias. We don't charge for our services. We don't work on commission, none of that stuff. We're just here to help you sort through what's out there. Um, those appointments are available for residents of Lincoln, Langlade, Marathon, and Wood Counties by calling one 888 Four eight six nine five four five. Um, that we are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And um, you will call that 888-486-9545 number. It'll take you into our answering um, router. You choose option three for benefits and then option one for open enrollment. And then if you reside outside of the counties that we serve, you can definitely contact a benefit specialist or your local ADRC. Um, DHS.Wisconsin.gov has a list of ADRCs. And then you can also work with a trusted agent if you're already working with one and explore um, that. Or you can look at plans on your own at Medicare.gov. Just make sure it's .gov because there's mm, fake ones. Yes. Uh, and those are all great notes. We'll repeat some of that information before we wrap up today, Bettina, and let you go. I did want to take a moment to talk about some of the volunteer opportunities at the EDRC. Uh, Monday through Friday at the Centralia Center in Wisconsin Rapids. And one of the greatest volunteer opportunities in the world, in the community certainly, is Meals on Wheels. Uh, encourage people all the time to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Meals on Wheels is awesome. You get to build those relationships. You get to, you know, just have a lot of fun taking people a meal. Um, so the Meals on Wheels delivery is um, you bring a hot meal and a friendly smile to older adults who are homebound in the community. So you pick up and deliver packaged meals. Approximate time is 1030 to, to noon. You choose how much to volunteer from once or twice a week to once a month. People often volunteer with their spouses, children, or friends. It can be a great experience for elementary and middle school age children to volunteer with uh, parents or grandparents. Build those relationships. 
And uh, it's important to keep in mind, too, that when uh, whatever your schedule is out there, the ADRC will try to work with you and try to figure that out. If you are more comfortable maybe delivering meals that are closer to your job or your work, your home or something, they will try to work with you on that. Um, uh, they have uh, worked with even my crazy schedule before. Uh, they, it, and it's one of the greatest uses of your time. I cannot encourage you enough to trick this out, everybody, and be a part of this. Because um, not only can you oftentimes be this person's, you know, one of the only contacts they have all day, and you're able you're able to kind of keep an eye on them and help on that. Um, but you're you're going to meet a new great friend. You yeah. are going to make a new great friend. I, I put my name on that. You, you are going to meet somebody and get to know them. And uh, honestly, at a certain point, the meal becomes almost secondary. And just the interacting with this person becomes such a, a key part of it for you and them. Um, there are wonderful volunteer opportunities in our community. There are not many that offer just as good of a feeling for the person receiving as the person giving. Uh, I encourage people to be a part of Meals on Wheels. Find out more about that. You can find out more going to adrc-cw.org. And keep in mind, meal packaging for senior dining is also another great way to volunteer. Yeah, absolutely. So you get food packaged in individual individual trays and mm -hmm. ready to go for Meals on Wheels delivery. Um, and then you can help set up for senior dining. You can serve food, coffee, help with cleanup. That's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And there are shorter shifts available. Mm. And uh, Bettina, again, before we let you go, if people want to have follow-up questions for you or want to know more about some of what we talked about today, how can they reach you? Yeah, so you call one 888 486 95 Four, five, or you can go to our website at www.adrc-cw.org. And encourage you to follow the ADRC on, uh, on social media as well. It's a great way to keep up to date on things over there and uh, share your things on your pages. You just never know who might see it that wouldn't otherwise. Uh, we always appreciate the time. Thank you so much for you and the staff and what you do for our community, Bettina. Uh, don't be a stranger, all right? Well, we'll see you again real soon. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. And thank you for the time. And we will have more Midday Magazine coming up for you right here at 97.5 FM, 1320 AM, WFHR, locally grown radio.